What's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be answering a question that I get literally at least 500 times a week um, on my email. And a lot of players are asking me, hey Ben, how do I become more confident before big games? I feel very nervous all the time. My teammates aren't giving me the ball and I don't know what to do. And I'm going to show you a very simple trick and technique I used when I was younger and all of the players I train right now, all the kids I train privately or in small groups, I have every player do this. And this has prepared everybody mentally before they get to their games. So here's what it is. And if you're a serious player, I know you're gonna do this. If you're just here goofing around, like, this isn't gonna help you out. But if you want to be extremely confident, all right, you want to do this simple exercise. So right now, hit the pause button, go grab a piece of paper and a pen, and if you have a note card, all right, I want you to do that. If not, just have a piece of paper, all right? And I want you to number just one, two, three, four, five, all right? And on those numbers, I want you to simply put, all right, the top five things that you want to do in every game that you play. So I'll give you a few examples. I know when I was younger, I was super shy. I wasn't confident. I never talked to my teammates, so they never gave me the ball. And I knew that in order for me to get the ball, I had to be louder. I had to be more demanding. I needed to be more confident about myself. Otherwise, my teammates would never trust me when they passed me the ball, all right? So my number one thing on my list when I was younger was be louder, communicate more, talk more to my teammates, all right? And that is something that I know helped me a ton. So that's one example right there. Another example, is being more physical. I see all the time in our comment section, players are talking about how they're getting pushed off the ball too much. They're, they're too timid going into tackles. Well, you can change that, all right? You need to be first to the challenge. You need to go in harder, all right? So number two could be, all right, be more physical. Win every 50-50 ball. It doesn't need to be a 50-50 ball anymore. It should be 100% of the time you're gonna win it. And that's just the mentality, all right? If you know you're gonna go and win the ball there, all right, you're gonna win every tackle. And I know, like, especially when I was in college, that's the mindset I had. Every time I went to a tackle, I was gonna win it, all right? And let's say, you know, that would be the, the second thing there. Number three, we could just talk about, like, when you have the ball at your feet, like, are you gonna do something with it or are you just gonna get rid of it, all right? And a lot of times when I go watch uh, youth games, I see this all the time, any time, Players gets to get the ball, they're just frantically getting rid of it. It's like they don't want the ball, right? So maybe number three could be getting more comfortable with the ball, having more confidence to try more things, take more shots, all right? Create more chances. That's only gonna happen when you want the ball, all right? So number three could be like, I want the ball more. And in order for that to happen, yeah, you need to train more on your own, right? If you're just going to practice two times a week, and touching the ball maybe a couple hundred times each practice, that's not gonna cut it, that's not gonna be good enough. The top players I've ever trained, top players I've ever played with in college, everyone's training on their own. That's gonna get you a massive advantage, all right? Number four could be very simple, all right? This is something that is gonna come down to confidence, but like, what do you think about before you even play? Like, before you even play in your game, are you thinking negative? Are you down in the dumps thinking that you're not gonna get any playing time that day? Are you thinking that every time you get the ball, you're gonna lose it? Like, what do you actually think? So number four should be like positive thoughts. That's something that every player can, <laughs> can need help with, right? And I know for me, especially me, when I was younger, anytime I'd go to like a really big game, I knew we were playing a team that was better than us. Like this happened to me until I was like, I would say 14 or 15 years old. I would already know in my head that we would lose. And I would already know in my head whoever I was guarding was gonna win that one-on-one -on -one battle. And that was a mental issue. That was me saying, all right, I concede. You're already better than me before the game even starts. That's like total BS, all right? If you think that way, all right, you're never gonna win. You're never gonna play good, all right? And what you need to do is switch that mindset. You need to be very positive going into games, knowing that you're gonna have a big impact, knowing that you are gonna play well. And that can completely change the way you play, all right? So that could be number four. Number five could be very simple as well. Hey, I know when I go watch players, I see so many kids, like they're getting subbed off the field. They're, they're not putting all their energy out on the field. They're not trying their hardest. Like number five is simple. 
That could just be you being the hardest working player on the field. Like, I've coached club soccer, I've coached high school soccer, I've coached thousands of kids personally, and I know if someone is going to be the hardest working player on the field, they're gonna get more playing time. They're gonna get more respect from their coaches. They're gonna get more respect from their teammates. And that is something that has nothing to do with skill. All right, your work rate and your work ethic on the field, like at practice and at games, that's going to determine how much playing time you get. And that's going to determine how far you go in soccer. So you need to be the hardest working player in the field. And those were my top five things that I wrote down when I was younger. And I remember like what I would do is I wrote, I wrote those things down and I would look at that before I played every game. And think about that. If I'm going to look at something before I play every game, I'm telling myself, like, okay, I'm going to go do these things. These aren't just thoughts anymore. These are things I'm going to do, all right? And what I recommend for you is after you write those five things down, I want you to make multiple copies of that, all right? And I want you to hang that up in your room. So you have one in your room. So every morning when you wake up, you know that these are the five things that you need to work on at practice, five things that you need to do at your games. And then maybe you make a copy, you put it in your soccer bag, and you take that with you to every practice, to every game. I have kids that are doing this right now, and I'm telling you, the way that they're playing in their games right now is so much better. They're way more confident. So if confidence has been an issue with you, I highly recommend that you start doing that. So do that exercise today, and you'll thank me later. All right, I'll see you soon.